Good afternoon, it's 3.37 on the 16th of January, 2024. Pre-tribulation only. If you don't believe in the pre-tribulation, you're wasting your time here, because that's where I'm going. PTO, power takeoff, PTO, power takeoff in four-wheel drive terms is a, uh, a secondary point where you can take power off of the engine. Okay, we're going to do a power takeoff at a particular time. We're unsure where that is, the day and the hour, only the Father knows, right? Uh, I'm going to go do a few things here with this. I've got 10 minutes. I'm watching my clock. I'm trying to get this done. Second time I've done this video. Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles, the Jews live in temporary huts for seven days. And at the end of seven days, at that sunset, they go in and they're back into their permanent homes. They no longer live in a temporary hut. That's called a, a tabernacle, a suko, a sukkot. No, sukkot is the term. Nah. Good afternoon. It is 3.37 p.m. on the 16th of January, 2024. What you're looking at is a breakdown of the pre-tribulation rapture. Pre-tribulation only. Power takeoff. We are going to take off with power. When it comes to the rapture. <sighs> Let's get into it. Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles is celebrated by living in a temporary hut, a sukkah, a tent, a tabernacle, a temporary dwelling for seven days. And at the end of seven days, at that sunset, they go back into their permanent homes. The very first nanosecond of time after the sun has set. The sun drops below the horizon. The last beam of light comes to the eye. Which Feast of Tabernacles will he fulfill this on? And I'm betting on 2024 for a couple of reasons. Where does the rapture take us? It takes us to the wedding supper of the Lamb. They go to the, the, the uh, oh, they go to the wedding chamber. Who gets to go? 10 virgins, the wise, go to the wedding supper. The unwise do not. The wise are the pre-tribulational, that's us. The unwise or the foolish are the post or mid-tribulational, because while they're planning for something down here, we're going up first. And when they see us go up, they will then say, we need that oil. They will understand that God's name is the oil. Aya, this name, is the oil in which to use. But they will understand it too late. And while they go and figure it out, this happens. The foolish are counting on a post or mid-trib. Don't get it wrong. We want to go to the wedding supper. That's what I've got. I hope you see the truth in it. God bless and take care.